Hey guys, what's going on? Hope everybody's doing well. Good start to September. I've been uh, super busy with uh, uh, off the desk, not trading as much as I'd like to, but I was getting some things done. I'm excited about kind of been in tech land or uh, tech hell for me at some times, but um, I'm excited to show you guys a few things. I'm going to get into the global macro at the end of this. I want to touch on just um, some business stuff first, but uh, this feels like we're coming into a pivot here. I'm going to get into it. And um, this is going to be a big inflection point. It's feel, things feel a little bit different. September, we talked about summer doldrums being over and maybe we'd see ball pick up in August. It really didn't. But now we're getting closer to the fourth quarter and September is usually interesting. So there's kind of a lot going on. I'll hit on. But I wanted to talk about I finally got this new, this is like the third version of the site. Finally got it to where we wanted it. And um, I'm excited about it. So this is the new JenkinsRM.com site. And it's a little bit easier to get in touch if you've got if you're new, if you have questions. Um, we have a desk line now. But it's good. It's kind of simpler, um, kind of the different levels of what we do and how people can get involved with us. So check that out when you get a second. And I wanted to specifically talk about um, the prop program. I've got a new upgrade, a new offer. Um, this has been a vision I've had for three years. And so finally getting to Chicago and setting up a desk, I want to talk about that. And then also in line with the prop program, kind of the prop team, I'd like to do something similar with um, the digital space and really focus on DeFi. There's so much going on. The NFTs are on fire. This thing called initial game offerings is actually growing faster than the NFT and like uh, fan token market. So there's some things I want to do there and, and um, kind of a tighter knit group that probably won't talk about in this particular uh, video, but we, what we also want to do for that group is even uh, working on putting together a token and that token will be native to our platform, but also our traders in an event to create liquidity, we use that token to help you guys with buying power and kind of move the whole space away from just buy and hold longer term. And then actually you can trade other synthetic products. Like we can trade with our own buying power and trade across markets and trade all digitally. So you don't have to use the futures market necessarily. We can trade NASDAQ synthetics or gold synthetics on the blockchain um, on some of these DeFi platforms. So that's, that's a longer term project, but that's something really cool that I want to eventually talk to the group about. But today I want to just focus on, if you click here. So this is the prop trading and coaching consulting program. Now, if you guys, some of you been with me for a long time, some are kind of new. Um, I originally started off kind of trading mostly Forex and the deal, you know, I had my courses where you teach you the whole institutional model we used on the fixed income desk. And it was kind of like do it on your own or just learn it. Right. Which is fine. And then we went a step further and said, Hey, a couple times a week, you know, I'll get up and trade with the Forex guys and we'll cross over and trade anybody that wants to trade equities. And we did that for, a long time, but that program ran between five to four grand in the beginning. And it was the courses. And then it was a little bit of my time twice a week. Um, this new prop trading program, call it our prop team 3.0. It's going to um, really mimic the way I used to run uh, the rates desk. So when I started out, we had a five team de person desk. Um, we covered all the, you know, big hedge funds and all the primary dealers. It was right during 2008. We were losing Lehman Brothers. Um, we lost Bear. But we were talking to all those guys during the whole thing. And we were trading, you know, the, the Treasury desk is the biggest fixed income desk on the fixed income side. You got the equity guys. They're usually all over the place. But then the fixed income guys is really where all the leverage is. And that's the main desk for um the rate side. And so I talked directly to the heads of those desks. It was crazy time, but that's how I cut my teeth and bonds. So anyway, I went through that process of being 
know nothing about bonds, come in as a junior trader, had three senior traders on the desk. I had another junior trader. We had a guy that sat behind us who was the um, checkout guy or back office guy. And then we had a risk manager that kind of roamed around. And we were putting up big numbers. I think we did 8 million as a desk um, in that year. And so if you want to put those numbers together, that comes out to be like 300, 400 grand a month. And so we're having, you know, 20, 30, $50,000 days. And I've put up those numbers also guys with, um, with just my other partner when we left the firm and I, I moved up to be a senior trader and then left and went to, was went to another firm to start our own desk. In that process, I trained um, three other junior guys all went on to be successful, six, seven figure types things. Some of them are doing their own, running their own little shops now. Um, so anyway, so I know the process and I wanted to take that and expand not to just a local level where you had to be licensed series seven, and then you had to be in the office. Well, now work from home and all the trading platforms and clearing and DeFi, everything's changing. You can do it and you can risk manage it and you can build a team really anywhere in the world. So that's been my vision for a while. And um, even on the results page here, I was talking about, I just listed some of our day trade stuff that guys were doing, but CG, this was one of the desks I used to, to run. And like, this is one of the prop guys with, he was doing them. Like these numbers, 42,000, 31,000, like, you know, doing a thousand trades in January. Like these numbers exist. Like I know how to do it. I know how to teach guys to do it. Um, but kind of what we're lacking is the big capital as a broker dealer, as a hedge fund. And so as most of you know, we went out and I thought Top Stuff was one of the best places for kind of retail to do that. But the problem is kind of the pain points that I've noticed that you guys have been telling me about is a lot of you in the group, you went through the course, you learned the model, you did really well, just trading on your own. Like some of you really well, like started out knowing nothing with futures and you sent me like your end, end of year statements, you did 50 grand part-time, which is just amazing. It was awesome. So I trained five guys on the institutional side, three years starting this firm, we've trained 72 people. And I don't mean like in the crypto room. I mean, that actually bought the courses and or were part of the coaching. So I'm really proud of that. It works and you can do it on scale, but I wanted to keep something that was a tighter group that was going to trade more risk and get bigger size and start making bigger dollars. So treat it just like the old desk, but virtual. And so what I want to do is I want to take 10, a team of 10. So take on 10 traders. I want to do five for this quarter through the end of the year. And then we'll do probably another five in first quarter next year. Maybe do seven this quarter. We'll see. But some of the pain points and issues that you guys were kind of communicating is that one, some of you wanted to participate in the prop room, in the day trading, but you kind of in between full-time jobs or you just, you're not able to be there all the time to do that. So the prop team wasn't really for you. Well, the way I'm going to run this, this will solve that for you if you're one of those individuals that wants to be a part of this. Um, the different time zone was another challenge. Some of you were like, oh, yeah, you know, they're in Singapore or a couple of you in Australia, London. And I've been focused so much on the open just because I had so much else going on. And that's when the most energy is for the day trading. And you guys aren't around for that. So you're kind of like, oh, I would want to do the program. I want to be a part of it. But how often would you be up for London, Jason? And, you know, it's just different or the crossovers in the evening and we're not really day trading that much. So that didn't really fit with what you guys wanted to do there. So this solves that. I'll show you in a second. Um, I kind of talked about this as do it yourself. So I kind of, we kind of had the model at first is do it all on your own. You get the model, you're kind of, you learn the model and then you just, you have at it. Then I kind of had it where I do it along with you. You trade with me in the mornings a few times a week. Well, a lot of you are doing great with that, but there's a little things that kind of push you over that next 
level. Like you come, you plateaued, and then you kind of stuck, and you need that little bit of extra help to get you get you past and you know to break out and move to that next level. And so, the way I'm going to set up the prop team now, you're going to basically trade with me like I used to run the desk. So even in the evenings, like you'll have access to my cell phone. I'll be chatting. Like if something big announcement comes out of the bank, bank of Japan, um, or you guys hear something, I'm eating dinner. You're like, Hey, they just said this gold's getting destroyed. Boom. We look at the phones. We can make trades if we need to. Like that was how I used to run when we were trading treasuries because we'd have a rate announcement or I'd get filled overnight. I'd have to wake up at three in the morning. I have to send, um, my trades to RBC and then they would clear it. And then the morning I had to check with the trader to text the trader when we got filled. I mean, we were looking at the markets 24 seven. So I'm going to treat that like, like that, but also I'm going to mostly trade for you in this new setup. So I'm going to trade and help you guys get your account or our accounts together. I'll explain it here in a second. And, and help you move forward. But I'm really going to get you to where you're making money. And then you have a profit cushion so that you're not like floundering in steps four and then you fall back and you have to start all over and you're just, you're not really getting through the levels at stop step. But more importantly, I just, even if it was a normal brokerage account, there's in the beginning, you got to get that profit cushion and then you can take more risk and then it becomes less stressful. If your first time on the desk and I give you I give you, you know, a hundred thousand dollars to trade. Like I would be watching over you all the time. And most likely I'd be trading most of it with you until you started making money. Same thing as a junior trader. We give him a draw to 2,500 bucks to pay some of his bills. But then really I'm helping him trade to get to 5,000 and 10,000. And then I give him the keys for a little bit and then he can drive. Otherwise he's at 2,500, he doesn't go anywhere. Next thing you know, he's paying back money. He's got to pay his drawback. He never gets ahead. So I'm basically going to do this yourself. And then also, for those of you that can't trade full time, but you like this idea and you want to be a part of it and you like the income that I'm going to show you that's possible for you guys, I'm doing this for you. And you're still going to get a passive cut of the profits whether how much you want to participate. If you're only, if you can't be around all the time, it's up to you, but this is a path. I'm going to build this. So this is a passive approach also to solve that problem. That it's kind of holding you back, some of you back. Uh, not enough capital contracts. So again, you know, I know a lot of you got the model down so well, but then you're just trying to trade one or two contracts or mini contracts and they're just not going to, it's okay if you want to make a couple hundred dollars a day, but you want to get to making $10,000 a month, $20,000 a month, $30,000 a month, you got to trade real size. And so a one-off account, like a one account, a top step, it's okay. You can, you can do $1,000, $2,000 a day, but I mean, I'm going to talk, I'm going to be talking to about making like as a team, 30 grand, 20 grand, we can start doing $10,000 days, $100,000 months and start getting the same kind of levels that a real prop desk gets to. Um, so I'm excited about that. And then also there's advantages to trading more contracts. So right now you have less opportunities. If you only have one contract, you got to wait for a really good edge or you get in the trade and you're kind of sitting, waiting, wait 15 minutes, you stop out, you got to wait another 15 minutes, maybe take another trade. You just can't be as active. You obviously can't trade the euro, gold, the dollar, S and P's, and the Russell all at the same time if you only have two contracts. So that's a limiting thing that their program kind of sets you up with. And then no passive source of profits. You're you, you're only trading based on the time that you're sitting in the chair. I want to set this up so you guys are benefiting from my efforts. So you're leveraging me, but then even down the road the desk becomes successful, some of you can kind of move it more into a leadership role and maybe you can bring in two or three guys and you train them and then you can make money off of them. Um, and, or, you know, then there's just, for me, this isn't really passive right now. I mean, it's going to be a lot of work for me, but the it's bigger numbers, 
but it is passive for you guys in the beginning. Um, if you want, you could be really involved or you can participate, you know, part-time. And then, and again, uh, there's more risk when you only have one or two contracts. Like I can, I could put on one or two contracts on anything. If I have five contracts, I can trade the other side of that with, it's really hard to lose. I mean, cause one, one starts to go against me on one contract. Okay. I start to hedge over here. And then this continues to go against me. Well, I'm, I'm hedging on the other side. I can get longer. I can be long two. I could be long three. And as this goes down, my profits are going up on my hedge. And you can actually turn that loser into a winner much easier. So there's a lot, there's a lot more to do from the risk management side. Only having, if you have one or two contracts on, yeah, there, it's technically it's less dollar risk. But from like a winning standpoint, you're going to have a lot more losers because something, even if you had a big move on one or two contracts, if I don't have any other contracts to hedge, my only option is to stop out versus hedging. You can take advantage of the move in the other direction. All right. So that was kind of the, some of the problems we've had over the years. Mainly the big one is that you guys just the time factors. Like, oh, I don't have time to just sit and day trade all day, Jason. And then see, and so the other side of that is we've had, products on the forex side where guys were like well hey well can i just give you capital and you can trade my account the only thing was that a lot of the accounts were small when we we're doing that on the forex and i don't want this program you're not gonna have to give me your capital you're not gonna have even with the the smas a lot of time it'll sit in their own account and then you give permission to trade it but there's real no leverage here this is where we're going to use top steps leverage but we're going to team up in a way that um um, we can get even more contracts. And so I also, just to note, guys, I know the number two employee over at Top Step, uh, his name's Connor, and he lives out, or he, he lives out in the suburbs where my kids are. And so I see him from time to time in the Irish club. And he's a good guy. He's talked to me a lot about behind the scenes, what they have going on, how they function. I've talked to him about some of the ideas to make the program better. And we talked about this is just trading more professionally versus everybody's a retail one off, one off, one off, one off. I told him, I told him about this idea that we should, should allow guys to trade more in a desk and a team fashion. So then it's the head trader. He's got experience. He can help manage the risk. It's not all on them. Um, so we got that figured out. All right. So the solutions are it's the passive approach. So basically we team up. We have five traders, five accounts. I'm going to be trading 80%, 90% of the time. I'll give you guys some discretion or you can trade trading alongside of me and watching and learning. And then as we go, I can hand off some of that responsibility. But again, so that, that passive approach, basically I'm going to be trading your account or our account. We can set up the LLC, put it all under kind of one business. Um, but I'll just log in and trade basically account for each five of you so it's a it's a um this better be recording um let's see here. one second okay i think we're good so passive approach um the different time zones so now you, you could be a part of this and you could pop in occasionally if we're busy in london or if you're talking about stuff overnight you could be there involved, but if you're if you got stuff going on at the open, don't worry, you got you covered, you're still making money. I trade for you, get your account equity curve and cushion where it needs to be. I talked about that. So if you're on the 15 contract, one person futures program, the most you can trade is 15 contracts. So if we have five, five of those accounts, guys, it's 75 contracts. That's big money. That's plenty, plenty to do real, real money. I'm like. Twenty, thirty thousand dollar days easily. Okay, I know from my experience trading futures, and we would trade the cash markets where I'd be on the bid for two hundred million. We'd trade eight billion um, in in volume in a year. Uh, no, in a month, excuse me. Um, and I know how the futures line up with that, but that's a lot of size. That's plenty of size to make some real money. So you have huge opportunities. I'll show you guys. A minute just some of the simple numbers but 
talking about five times the buying power, which means it's much easier to be able to work out of a trade. There's going to be way more opportunity. Um, it's not going to have to just sit on our hands. We can, we can take advantage of a lot of cycles, a lot, a lot of cycles. Um, and again, I talked about fully passive if you want, but you can still, I'm talking about 10, 10x returns for what this program is going to entail. More contracts to hedge means less risk, higher win rates, more consistency. It makes it harder to fail, all right? Easier to make some real money. All right. So I've shown before, I mean, you guys know all, for all my YouTube videos and like even today, all right, did six grand a day in a little over an hour, all right? I took mostly the Russell short and I added and reduced, added and reduced, added and reduced. I got short NASDAQ, let that run a little bit. And then I took a couple longs as a hedge on S&Ps, but you can see I barely did. I only did in and out three times on that, which was 13 trades here. So that's what I teach you guys is be busier on what's working with the trend, add to your winners. And then the hedges, you just stay light or you don't even need them at some point. But that was just on. I traded that around a little bit. So I lose 700 there, make a grand on NASDAQ, 5,800 on adding and reducing on the Russell. And um, hold on. So that's what's possible, okay? In an hour, six grand. You think, you guys know that doing $1,000 a day for me is no big deal, all right? But here's my thought process. So we take just doing $1,000 a day, okay, across five accounts. I'm doing three out of five because let's just assume maybe you start off in a on a losing side on one account, and then maybe the other account we don't get to or don't trade it. Three out of five to do a thousand dollar a day is very doable. All right. There's 20 trading days in a month, 15 trading days a month for me, no problem. All right. That's a pretty good average. Very good, good average, especially if we're only talking about a thousand dollars a day. All right. That thousand bucks, three, three accounts, three thousand bucks a day. You average that 15 trading days, it's 45 grand a month. Now, Back when I, my deal as a junior guy coming in was two and a half percent of what the desk did. My head trader, he took 75% of what we did. All right. And it took me two years to get the 5% and wasn't until my third year, they gave me seven and a half percent. But on $8 million, that's not bad. And then from there, I went on to start my own desk and I got 50%. Actually, I think I only got 25% because what happens, the broker dealer wants 25. Uh, you got two other partners, you got to split off percentages and then the broker dealer might want 50%. And I think I was around 20, I probably was around 50. Then you got to play your, pay your Bloomberg, the expenses are a lot higher versus a virtual model without all the clearing. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to do, I'm going to do all the trading, treat this like the old desk, like where we're involved basically 24 seven with the markets, which is exciting. Work with you guys individually, like again, text message, constant contact, a separate zoom room. However, we want to communicate, we could do another telegram room, but it might just be easier to have a group text. Um, but that's the level of direct communication. That's the level of involvement. And again, I'm doing all the trading. So I keep 50%. The junior guys, 50% 50, 50 of that, 22,500. And then you split it five ways. So again, it doesn't matter if one guy's in the room all the time or another person's completely passive. I don't, it doesn't matter in the beginning. I'm not gonna get crazy about who's doing what. Because if you're not doing the trading, you're not helping me manage the risk, it's fine. I'm just going to split it five ways. But that's 4,500 $4, bucks a month 
for really not even needing to do anything other than just watching, just simply be watching, checking in a couple times a week. I mean, if you want to get the most out of it and you want to be a better trader and you want me to, to grow this desk and you want to move into that senior trader status, get a bigger payout, et cetera, then yeah, I want you to be more involved. You probably want to be more involved anyway. The point being, this is a pretty passive payout. I don't know what type of real estate investment gives you that type of return without putting up millions of dollars or taking on a huge amount of debt, right? I don't know very many businesses that offer this, all right, for, for what you're going to see, on, on what the program is going to be, program cost. So 4,500 on a thousand bucks a day. That's basically $54,000 a year. Again, largely passive. It's a thousand percent ROI. Okay. That, that is totally possible. A thousand bucks a day and just a small team desk, 45 a month. Again, I would do 50,000 in a day. We would do 300,000 a month, 400,000 a month as a team. Right. So let's just up that. I mean, $1,000 a day, I just showed you this morning, we did 6,000. I only did, I only got up to about seven contracts. I, uh, today on uh, the Russell, I started short two. I, I bought some, I covered some, I bought S&P. So I maybe I had about one S&P. So I had probably three contracts on. And then at some point I got heavier on the Russell. At one point I was short five Russell. And then I might've had on one S&P and like, short one NASDAQ. So I think the most today I had on was seven contracts, All right? But even if I had just started out only trading two or three, a thousand bucks a day is no problem, All right? So let's just get a little bit more ambitious. So averaging 2000 a day, same thing, three out of five accounts, because there's not every, not every account or every trader is gonna have a winning day or some accounts we might not even touch in a day. That's the part of the, that's part of me trading account. One account might, might put the wrong trade on and then I'll jump in the another account and then get on the right side and have a big day in that account. And the next day I'll start off in the bigger account. If I struggle there, then I'll, because usually if you start the wrong way, you guys would probably attest to that. When you get in the wrong trade, sometimes don't you wish you just had an account where you put the others, did the exact opposite in the other account. So you would have lost in this one, but you would have done really well in this one. So you can manage those accounts day to day, week to week, so that you can grow both of them. So if one's doing crappy, you know, one's doing really well, you, you go back, focus on the one that you're not doing so well. Anyway, there's a way to kind of pair that off so that I can handle that. I know how to do that. 15 winning trades, same thing. Two grand times three accounts, you're at 6,000 bucks a day. It's just a double. 6,000, 15 trading days, now we're at 90,000 a month. So you split half of that five ways. You're almost making 10 grand a month for doing nothing, guys. For just, for just kind of like sitting, think about just sitting next to me and learning and watching, and then I'm making you money. 100 grand a year, it's 2,060% ROI. That, those are, that return doesn't exist other than just catching us a coin and hoping that it rips for six months. All right. So here's the deal. This is, we can, I'm going to show you guys what I want you to do. So this is going to be a little bit of a interview process. Cause again, I'm only going to have five traders to start. Okay. So whoever's hungriest that gets this and wants to do this, you got to get in touch with me first. I'll show you how you can do that on the website. There's a calendar you can fill out. I, I put my schedule there. You can talk to me so we can talk more about these details. But you got to, you know, just get in touch with me if you, if you guys are serious and want to do this. So new traders, or is anybody that hasn't done the coaching with me or bought the course before? If you spent time trading with me, you're a prior trader. So new guys, it's $5,000 investment into the program. And what that's gonna give you is all the trading courses, which is about six grand in value. So the coaching live, not only is it, coaching used to be eight weeks, a couple times a week, a couple hours. 
Now it's going to be basically full access. It's all, I'm, even on the weekends, usually, I mean, I won't be chatting with text on you guys, but Sunday nights, I mean, usually would be in touch. You've got to be paying attention to what's going on, especially if we're making a bunch of money and we got, we don't have a lot of risk on because we don't have positions overnight, but still there's, there's going to be a lot of opportunity that we're going to want to be involved when we're trading, when we've got 75 contracts that we can, we can get involved with. So that, that old coaching course used to be $5,000 value. No longer do you have to do it yourself. I'm going to take care of that, take care of that hurdle. And then done for your passive trading results. So I just showed you <laughs> where we can make anywhere between two to five grand a month, right? Even on the $1,000 day. I mean, it's basically almost $5,000 a month I showed you guys. So two to five grand a month for each trader and in income. Again, I mean, what are you going to do? You're going to go buy a $2 million, $3 million condo and try to rent it out for that type of cash flow? I mean, I just, I don't know how many businesses for a $5,000 investment spin you off two grand a month, five grand a month. You get your ROI back the first, as soon as we're live. And then I just showed you guys too how on just $1,000 a day, it's worth 54 grand for you. So call it 64 grand on a $5,000 investment is the type of income I'm talking about um, returning. And just because I'm so confident in doing $1,000 a day, guys, and how much value you get from, I know the value from this, you guys always, always been so positive and appreciative of the coaching and everything. This is a huge value, but to put up the numbers between all that buying power and five accounts, it's worth it for me to really drill down and, and trade a lot. So I know, I know the results I can get. I know that thousand bucks a day is nothing. So I'm willing to give you guys back all of this investment, all of it, if you're not, if you're not making money in, for after 90 days, 30 days to get the account where it needs to be, 30, 60 days, it's probably after 60, but give me a quarter. And if you don't, if you're not happy, if you're not making money, I give them to give you all of it back, guaranteed, 100%, all right? That type of bonus doesn't really exist anywhere, but that's the type of results that I'm confident in. I know we can do. Um, oh, and then the prior traders, um, to be involved and participate in the profits and all the passive nature of me trading for you, it's 3,500 bucks. So you've already paid for the course, courses and coaching. So this is just basically up, up front, call it program equity, commitment, investment, and in my time and what I'm going to do for this type of payout. It's, I mean, the amount of value is amazing. So I'm excited about it. Um, I'll tell you, I've been trading and coaching a long time and I always love trading. I always, I like being on the desk. I like trading for myself, but being able to get back into a team environment and a prop desk like this and start putting together big, big days, it's really fun. I mean, we start stroking five grand, 10 grand, 20 grand. Um, it's going to be fun. And then back to, you know, my vision, I'd like to see you guys, you know, build this desk scout, add another five guys and have a group of 10. And then we're making some real money again. I can go start another office. We could get, um, could have a space here in Chicago, even if you guys, some of you guys, maybe a local, you want to come in and trade, even if you wanted to come in once a quarter or a month and trade together or weekend, you know, spend the weekend here in the city in the summer when it's nice, trade for a couple of days in the office. Like we can, we can build that and do all that if we, if we get the, if we get the right team and everybody's committed and we have the right capital. So. I, I know the top step guys, we can make this work. We just, I just want to know who wants to play first five guys. That's kind of the deal. Here's what you need to do. You go to learn more under the prop section. This is my calendar for this week. Even today, if you want to talk, I'm available. It's already three Chicago time, but you can, you can pick a slot that should be working. I, 
I tested it a couple times. If for some reason it's not, um, you could even try to message me here in this chat box. I'm not sure if the phone's set up, but then you guys should know how to get me on Telegram too. Just come in the free room. Uh, I'll put the link in the video and um, it'll be on YouTube. If you know the YouTube channel, you should know how to get a hold of me there. Or you can just email me too. This is, um, this is a fine email down here, sales at JenkinsRM.com. Okay, we'll get to the long video. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Again, we'll talk about it. And then I'd like to make a decision here. I mean, I know several of you wanted this for years and you're excited about it. And we've talked about it. So I imagine that five of you, we can make some decisions on who, who's going to be on the team by the end of the month. So I'll, I'll, it might take me today, tomorrow to kind of get the word out. Um, some of you already know, I kind of have in mind who would want to be a part of this. Um, but just try to get in there as quick as you can. I'd like to make some decisions by the end of the week. Um, maybe not on everybody. Um, and again, I'm not going to take, I don't want, I'm I want the guys, that, the guys or the gals that are the most hungry about doing this, that want to eventually, that get the vision, want to trade full time. I mean, even if you just want the passive income, but you just love being a part of this group and team, that's great. I don't want somebody necessarily that's new that wants to come in and something for nothing. So um, anyway, yeah, okay, that's it. As far as markets go, I think the biggest thing, guys, I put in the, the chat is that the VIX and the S&P obviously correlated. Look at this. This is so right now, so much of the machines and the markets driven by volatility of the options market, the dealers. Um, and some of it, so much of it revolves around volatility around the options, what the dealers have to do or can't do, or they're hedging. And so there's so much. The trend's been up for stocks, and we've been in this kind of like Goldilocks environment up until really the last month. Um, and people thought inflation was transitory, blah, 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 blah. But we have lower highs in vol, which means a lot of people, they sell the volatility to capture uh, yield or income since bonds, bond yields are so low. So it's hard to get sustained spikes in volatility or trending higher in volatility trend until stocks really break down. And you can just see, I mean, we've done nothing but make higher lows. So you should expect that you should get lower highs in the VIX, but you can kind of see that now it's starting to maybe, maybe shape up a more of a base and turn. So here we've got a little bit of a base, new lows, new lows, new lows. Now kind of getting higher lows. And we've come so far from where we were during uh, the COVID crash. This is a lot of time. This is a lot of wedging. This is a lot of consult. You know, it's just, we're due for something like this again. We're due for more volatility. So that's what I'm watching in the vol space. And then on the other side of that, here's your higher lows or the TMS and S&Ps. We're gonna come into a major, major area. Going to come into a major major area. You might get, you might get a higher low here around the fifty day, like today. You also were kind of low on the four hour. I think you're at pi. Yeah, you're right at pi. So this is actually a good place, guys, if to maybe pick up your longs. You're supposed to be taking profits on new highs up here when the VIX was low in the teens, and I was talking about VIX is low. Take profits down here if you're short VIX. You have long as you trim some. Now you can put some longs back on. If you want a pairs trade, I like being maybe long some calls on S and P's. I came out of most of my VIX. I'll tell you what I did in my VIX. It's long VIX calls at seventeen and fifteen. Took profits on those. And then I bought the cheap twenty two strike calls out next week. So I don't have a a lot of upside. But if something were to really snap, the market were to just really break for whatever reason. The VIX will be up at 25. I'll make money on those 22 calls, but it's I'm it's not a big long ball position at this point. So you be a little bit long S and P's, and then I like being short the Russell. I've been short, been covering, covering some today, but keep just keep selling rallies. Like I've been busier on short Russell. 
just the same way we day trade. We, you can be busier on all of these rallies, short two, three lots. You want to be, I want to be short more than I am long here. So it's just that pouring the half glasses of water back and forth into each other. So getting a little bit more long stocks here is fine. You weren't supposed to be doing that here. Shorting these rallies, today is a day where you cover some. I still like a course short, but you cover some today, obviously, right? We're pretty oversold. This was a spot to be shorting. I'll short. That's what I sold this morning. S&Ps were right up high. I started shorting the Russell because I just like shorting the small caps. We'll talk about why. And then I'm just adding and reducing in here. Short cover, short cover, short cover, short cover, short cover, short cover. And then I went long S&Ps like once there and once here. And then did this kind of the same thing on the NASDAQ. <clears throat> But big picture, um, we're gonna watch this 50 day. Watch this 50 day. Oh, that was the S&P. The Russell, you can see the bands are already sideways. It just shows you that the weakness has already started in small caps. But the daily cycle's low, four hour back to some low levels. So again, this is gonna be a spot where maybe the market bounces another week or so. If we don't, then it's clear that the levels from a couple of weeks ago was the big pivot. And if that breaks, then you guys know in the model, that means you got to move to the 200 potentially and or a full pie cycle. And that's going to get your VIX above this 25 level. It's going to get you above here. And then that's going to put you into higher, higher highs and higher lows. And that's totally different. That's going to be long vol, long dollar, um, heavier shorts on the Russell, even I'm up, not opposed to even selling some tech if that breaks. So that's what I'm watching. Again, daily cycle is low. Uh, what else? The dollar is <clears throat> a long video. I'm just going to be quick on these other markets. Dollar, we talked about, we started to break down big picture right around this purple line. You pop through it, you came back. So sometimes you got to shake the car out of the snow. You got to rock it both ways. We're going to get a rally in the dollar. Sometimes you get a fake people out on a breakdown. You come back up, guys short new lows and they squeeze, they cover. And it, it gets kind of messy. But the intermediate term is 119 to 117. Okay. I talked about that. This is the channel. But we did make a lower high again relative to the TMS. So you're still in a bearish trend for the euro, bullish for the dollar. That's setting up for risk off. It's kind of the same growth slowing that we've been talking about. Oil is different. Oil we thought maybe it was signaling growth slowing, but now it's kind of it made new lows and then was oversold and has kind of climbed its way back. I'm not, guys that are really thinking that we're in this big inflation push, thinking energy a lot higher. I'm not quite so quick to say we're going back to new highs. So I want to watch this pivot. This was a lower high relative to here. These are lower lows. So I think you'll struggle up in here towards the top of the intermediate term. I don't, I'd rather play the economy short. I think the Russell, if you want to be contrarian, you could be a little bit short, maybe buy some puts on oil. Um, definitely new lows is not where you want to be shorting. This is better up here, but it's still, Oil has been one of the strongest long-term bull markets the last year and a half, two years. So it's not the greatest short. Um, gold has been pretty sluggish relative to any market, but especially to Bitcoin. Um, you got paid to buy in front of 1700 and then you went all the way back to pie. I did another nice little pie cycle. So, now you're in the middle. If you get back to 1750 or below, you could be a buyer. You take some off, you get back here towards pi. Um, I don't know. If you get back to 1900, maybe it's a short. Depends on what the dollar is doing. Silver. Silver is 
I don't have an opinion there. It's kind of in the middle. Oh, and then Bonds. Oh, they're choppy. Long Bonds kind of picking up again. I like I like being long 10s, guys, versus short 30s, just because you, the further you go out in duration with the Biden administration, just how they don't care about spending and what they're ramping through and the budget, blah, blah, blah. It's so bad for long-term duration bonds. The only thing that's going to push 30s up is if we get a hard sell-off on stock. So if you're long 10s, you'll get the risk-off move on the long side, but 30s are going to have a hard time with inflation and then the long-term debt outlook. So not a bad place to put out some shorts again on 30s or wait for the top of the range up here. And then ideally, you'd want to be buying 10s last week when you were low, like, I mean, you buy more tens and you short thirties just because they have less, they're not going to move as much. But if you bought some tens down here, that's pretty good. Maybe you take a little bit off, not a whole lot of movement. The other way you could trade that if you want more movement is be long thirties and then short the ultras, short the ultras against it. So maybe you're long two thirties and you're short one ultra. So you can play the curve that way. Okay, guys, hope that I'm excited about the prop team. Hope some of you are also. Again, it's a small team, but this could be a fun, fun group. We can make a lot of money, build some tight relationships over the years um, and see where it goes. Just really focus into the end of the year and then bring on a few more to the team next year and then see where it goes from there. But I think there could be, again, possibility for, I could like to get an office going and just get back to, just kind of more of a real desk type feel versus everybody's kind of on their own um, and, and trying to figure it out. So anyway, you guys know what to do. Get a hold of me on the calendar or the telegram and then uh, I'll happy to get on the phone. So I might be busy in the afternoons the next couple of days. So just get on that if you're, if you're interested. Uh, otherwise, I'll, I'll probably be trading early in the morning. I'll hit you guys on the chat.